it is my pleasure to introduce to you again in this first semifinal match, the Varsity Scholars of Cheney University, Pennsylvania. Joshua Hughes. I'm Holland Colbreth, and I never go anywhere without my headphones. Uh, my name is Richard Coleman, and I'm a science major. All right. Let's give it up for Cheney. And also to my left, the Varsity Scholars of Alabama State University. How you doing? My name is Marcus Davis. I love practicing martial arts, and I'm a senior biology pre-health major at the Alabama State University. Hello again. My name is Geneva Santos. I am from Mobile, Alabama, though born and raised in the Philippines, and I'm a cosplay aficionado. All right. I'm also a practitioner of martial arts, specifically Taekwondo, Amram Gaynor, junior communications major. All right. So while our Alabama State players are balancing their chi, I would like to introduce to you once again, Pat St. Germain. Hello, teams. Hello. Hello. And welcome to this semifinal match. Congratulations on making it this far. As we have in the other matches, there'll be three rounds of questions before each team faces that ultimate challenge where the big points lie in wait. But before that, we have rounds one through three to go to. We have Jean Iva representing in the center spot for Alabama State and Holland representing for Cheney in this first round. Let's do a buzzer check. Geneva, I understand that there's one particular individual who you would very much like to meet if you had the opportunity. Who might that be? Well, in the rooms I said that I wanted to meet Dante Alighieri because I'm just amazed by the fact that he stayed in, he fell in love at a young age and stayed in love with her for the rest of her life, uh, his life, and that she, he considered her her muse, so it's amazing. I'm sure he enjoyed meeting you too, but unfortunately introductions are going to be a little hard to arrange, but... Thanks for sharing that. <laughs> Good luck in this round. Thank you. Holland, your turn now. All right. <laughs> and we learned in an earlier match that you enjoy video games, but we also found out that you enjoy music. Yes, very much so. Um, I try my hand at music production. Um, I took a class in it, and I got my AKG headphones there, and I never go anywhere without them. I try to sample old school stuff, put together hip-hop tracks, EDM, that type of thing. Well, there are a lot of artists in this field of HCASC players, and I'm sure they'll be seeking you out after the tournament. Good luck with that as you go forward. Thank you. And good luck to both teams. Thank you. The coin toss was won by Cheney off stage, and in round one, they'll have first choice of the following categories. Black heritage stamps, casting a spell, pop quiz, and thanks but no. Holland, where will we go? Let's cast a spell. Good luck. Variable, ignoble, bauble. Which word should end in U-B-L-E? Holland. Bubble. That's correct. You're on the board. Here's your bonus. Admissible, culpable, mandible, palpable. Which two should end in I-B-L-E? Uh, admissible and mandible. Both correct. Five points apiece. Corruptible, fixable, flexible, usable. Which two should end in A-B-L-E? Fixable and usable. Ball got all the points on the bonus, and you're driving the board. Where do we go? Cast a spell. Correctly spell the only word in this question that is misspelled. John Iva. M I S S P E L L E D. You got it. Here's your bonus Armageddon, crucifixion, sacrilegious. Which religious word is misspelled? Crucifixion. That's correct for 10 points. For another 10, what's the correct spelling of crucifixion? C R U C I F I X. I-O-N. You got it. All 20 on the bonus. Choose a category. Pop quiz. Jem and Scout Finch learn about prejudice as they watch what father of theirs defend a black man, Tom Robinson, on charges of rape. John Iva. Finch. Sorry, no. Holland, can you take it? John. Nope. Sorry. Atticus was Atticus. who we needed. Uh, Choose again, please. Pop quiz. Which real-life prominent father wrote of the icing for his own daughters and told of his own dad in Dreams from My Father? John Iva. Barack Obama. That's correct. Here's your bonus. Collins Foster Loman. Which surname is shared by Father Willie and sons Biff and Happy in Death of a Salesman? Loman. That's correct. Who wrote Death of a Salesman? Arthur Miller. All 20 on the bonus. You're driving the board. Pop quiz, please. Okay. 
daughter Scarlett inherits her father Gerald's love for the South in what Civil War era classic involving the O'Hara family home? Holland. Gone with the wind. That's correct. Here's your bonus. Fear of appearing weak, like his father Yunoka, proves Okonkwo's undoing in what classic by Chinua Achebe? All Things Fall Apart? No, no. sorry. Things Fall things Apart. Fall apart. Yeah. Next, Butler, Lovecraft, Wells. Rufus Whalen is the slave only fa- slave owning father of one of Dana's ancestors in Kindred by which sci fi author? Your answer? Wells. No, Butler was who we needed. Can't give you points on that, but you control the board. Um, cast a spell. Okay. The card game Pharaoh de- derives its name from the ancient Egyptian title with the same pronunciation, but with what different spelling? Holland. P H A R. A-O-H. You got it. Here's your bonus. The card game pronounced like P-knuckle is actually spelled how? Your answer, please? P-I-N-O-C-L-E. I'm sorry. There was an H in there. P-I-N-O-C-H-L-E. Part two. The card game pronounced euchre is actually spelled how? Begin your answer. Y-U-K-U-R. E-U-C-H-R-E. Can't give you points on that, but you control the board. Um, Thanks, but no. His own home more opulent, billionaire Michael Bloomberg declined to live in Gracie Mansion while mayor of what city? Holland. New York City. That's correct. Here's your bonus. Jolie and Downey Jr. backed out of what 2013 film written for them, sending Bullock and Clooney into space? Gravity. Yes, for 10. Saying he didn't understand the script, Will Smith said no to Neo, leaving Keanu Reeves to star in what sci-fi trilogy? The Matrix. You're right. All points on the bonus. Which category? Thanks, but no. In the 1970s, Atari founder Nolan Bushnell said no to another fortune by turning down what one-third stake in what Steve Jobs' company? Holland. Apple. That's correct. That sound means this is the last bonus. What author of Aerosmith became the first person to refuse a Pulitzer Prize in 1926? <coughs> Your answer? Jones. No, it was Sinclair Lewis. Sinclair. Next, Republicans buy sneakers too, is why what Bulls number 23 famously said he didn't back Harvey Gantt's campaign to unseat Senator Jesse Helms? Um, Jordan. That's correct for 10 points, and that's the end of round one. Players in the center will change now. Amram will represent and score points for Alabama State. Joshua for Cheney. And Joshua, I understand that you've got some musical talent. Uh, yes, I played drums for 14 years. Are you good? A little bit. A little. All right. Well, we've got, I'm sure we've got an access to a surface somewhere. We'll look forward to hearing more about that. <laughs> Amram, I understand that if any of us have a difficulty with computers, you're the man to see. Sort of. I have some people that I work with that are much better, but um, generally I know a thing or two, you know. Turn it off and turn it back on. And, you know, that's, <laughs> that's, that's my money maker, so don't tell anybody I said that. <laughs> Appreciate that. All right. We'll, know, we'll be in touch. I've got, a, I've got a cranky laptop. We'll be talking. In round two, our categories include African-American landmarks, blue skies for our children, inspired by the comics, and Russian toward bankruptcy. Alabama State, you have the opportunity to choose. Which category will it be? Inspired by the comics. Good luck. In 2014, a massive brawl broke out between the Saints and Panthers, after which quarterback did his famous Superman TD celebration? Joshua. Newton. That's correct. Here's your bonus. In the 2008 NBA Slam Dunk Contest, which then Magic Center donned a Superman shirt and cape before flying to the basket? Dwight Howard. That's correct. In a 1997 movie, which former NBA big man with Superman S and Man of Steel tattoos starred as Steel, a DC Comics superhero? O'Neal. You got it. All 20 on the bonus. Uh, Inspired by the comics. Which Spurs star who wears a custom Punisher knee brace was featured as an auto mechanic in a 2014 The Punisher comic book? Joshua. Duncan. That's correct. Here's your bonus. In 2009, which berserk rapper battled the Punisher in a special issue in which the real enemy was the Parents Music Council? Eminem. That's correct, for 10. In 2013, a special cover was released showing Eminem sitting beside which Marvel character with a history of heart problems? Iron Man. That's correct. 
You drive the board. Where will we go? Inspired by the comics. Okay. What Ghost Rider star, credited as Nicholas Coppola in his first roles, adopted the last name of a black superhero from Marvel Comics? Joshua. Cage. That's correct. Here's your first, first part of your bonus. What DC duo titles the 2002 Snoop Dogg song that wraps a cold day in Gotham? Batman and Robin. That's correct for 10. In 2007, Soldier Boy hit number one with what song mentioning both Superman and Robocop? Crank That Soldier Boy. Crank That Soldier Boy. All 20 on the bonus. <laughs> Choose a category. Uh, blue Skies for Our Children. Honda Smart Home U.S. won a 2014 Green Builder Award for creating a house with no footprint of what chemical element? Joshua. Carbon. Yes, it was. Here's your bonus. Among the recent honorees of Keep America Beautiful Social Stewardship Award is Ursula Burns, CEO of what document company? Xerox. That's correct. And for the Greenworks program, he leads Michael Nutter, the third black mayor of what city across the Delaware River from Phil New Jersey? I'm sorry, Philadelphia. For another 10 points. Which category? Uh, blue skies for our children. It seems appropriate that in 2014, what Green Mountain State City of Burlington announced that 100% of its energy is now renewable? Amram. Montana. Sorry, no. Joshua, can you take it? Alabama. No, Vermont was what we were looking for. No points there. Joshua, choose again. Uh, blue skies for our children. A recent study shows that mounds built by what cellulose-eating insects may be critical to halting the growth of Africa's deserts? Joshua. Termites. That's correct. Here's your bonus. What international organization led, led by Ban Ki-moon has named 2010-2020 the decade for fighting desertification? Your answer? Greenpeace? No, that would be the United Nations. Okay. Next, wow. China says its Great Green Wall project reclaims land area larger than Switzerland each year. From what desert west of Beijing? Your answer, please. Mongolian? No, the Gobi Desert. Can't give you points on that, but choose another category. Uh, Russian towards bankruptcy. In 2014, Russia's GDP plunged to $1.1 trillion. It had been above $2 trillion, about the same as what U.S. state with the largest economy? Joshua. New York. No, sorry. Amram, can you California. take... California. Yes, it is. Here's your bonus. In, on December 14, 2014, Russia's central bank raised interest rates in an unsuccessful attempt to avoid a run on what currency unit? Ruble. Ruble. That's correct. Next, December 15 was dubbed Cherny Monday in Russia, as Cherny means what color, also used in the U.S. to describe very bad days. Blue. Blue. No, sorry. Black was what Black. it was. Okay. And that sound signals the end of round two. Okay. Score stands. <laughs> Alabama State has 80 points on the board. Cheney is posting 230. We've got new players in the central positions right now. Marcus will be scoring points for Alabama State. And Marcus, yeah. I understand that you have a bit of a green thumb. Tell <laughs> us more about that. Uh, yes. Yeah, so we have a ba I have a bamboo plant. So lucky bamboo plant. Um. I don't have a green thumb because I was drowning it. Um, my sister here was saying uh, it was turning white, and uh, she said it's too much water in it. So apparently I was killing the plant. So um, just, just, you know, if you ever want flowers or anything from me, get them out of my hands quickly because they will not survive. <laughs> I would just say that. <laughs> Good to know. We'll, we'll, uh, we'll alert the media and the landscapers. Thanks for sharing that. Yes, ma'am. Not so lucky bamboo. Okay. <laughs> Richard. I understand that you are an extraordinary practitioner of yoga, and you've conquered one particularly challenging pose. Tell us more about that. Uh, the pose of personal favorite is the corpse. It's a very uh, <laughs> standard <laughs> laying position. I would imagine it takes great training and stamina to hold that position for very, a very long much. period of time. <laughs> yep. You get a lot of support for, for that kind of training, do you? Yeah. Um, my main contributors are my bed, my pillows, blankets. They make everything. It's a great team. It, make, it's, it. It. <laughs> it takes a village. It takes a village. So as we enter round three, <laughs> this is why I will never get into yoga. I just <laughs> All you, Richard. Our categories include 1915, six or more neighbors, artistic selfies, subatomic particles, Marcus, you have first choice. Which will it be? We're going to subatomic particles. Good luck. Visible light is made of what particles that have no measurable mass? 
Marcus. Neutrons. Sorry, no. Richard, can you take it? Ions? No, that would be a photon. Marcus, choose again. Subatomic particles, please. Whose uncertainty principle states that you cannot know both a particle's position and momentum at the same time? Richard. Einstein? Sorry, no. Marcus? Uh, chaos. No, Heisenberg was who we needed. No points yet. Subatomic Marcus, particles. Back to the category. Protons and neutrons are made up of what tiny particles with a Q name? Marcus. Quantum. No, sorry. Richard, can you try? Time. Quark was what we were looking for. Choose again, Marcus. 1915, please. In January 1915, Francis Georges Claude patented lighting using glass tubes of what noble gas, ushering in a new form of advertising. Richard. Neon. Yes, it is. Here's your bonus. That same month, what type of German dirigible bombed cities in England Zeppelin. for the first time? Zeppelin. That's correct. Next, in a 1915 treaty, what country joined the Allies against Austria-Hungary in exchange for Trieste and other territories? France. 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 No, that would be Italy. Got ten on the bonus, and you choose a category. Six or more neighbors. What country's neighbors include Switzerland, Slovenia, and Vatican City, the last of which it completely surrounds? Marcus. Italy. That's correct. Here's your bonus. After one clue for 20 points or after two for 10, the Elbers Mountains form the spine of what country bordering Turkey, Pakistan, and Iraq? Russia. No. Second clue. This country's UNESCO site of Persepolis features the ruins of ancient Persian kings. Your answer? Lebanon. No, Iran was what we needed. No points, but you choose the category. <clears throat> Let's go with artistic selfies. Whose 1941 self-portrait features his melted face like the surreal watches in his classic, The Persistence of Memory? Richard. Van Gogh. No, sorry, Marcus, your guess. Picasso. No, Dolly was who we were looking for. Choose again. 1915. What infamous D.W. Griffith film in praise of the Ku Klux Klan made its debut in 1915? Marcus. Birth of a Nation. That is correct. Here's your bonus. What was the three-word phrase for Caucasian boxers like Jess Willard, who, in 1915, managed to defeat heavyweight champ Jack Johnson? Your answer? Time. Great White Hope was what we were looking for. Next, also in sports, which Native American was paid $250 to play his first pro football game for the Canton Bulldogs in 1915? An answer. Page. No, Jim Thorpe was who we were looking for. No points, but you drive the board. Let's finish out 1915. Back to it. In 1915, what magician with an alliterative stage name was wowing audiences with dramatic escapes and death-defying acts? Marcus. Houdini. Yes, it was. Here's your bonus. In 1915, what name did continental drift theorist Alfred Wegener give his proposed supercontinent? Pangea. That's correct for 10. What country was the setting for John McRae's 1915 anti-World War I poem in Flanders Fields? What country was it? Your answer? France. No, Belgium was what we were looking for, but you got 10 on that. And Artistic the selfies. Which Spanish co-creator of Cubism painted his 1907 self-portrait in that style? Marcus. Picasso. That's correct. Here's a bonus. Those severely disabled by a bus accident, Colin. which Mexican artist managed to paint 200-plus works, many of them portraits of herself? Calo. That's correct. Breton Ernst Magritte, in his self-portrait, the face of which Belgian surrealist is hidden behind a prominent green apple? Magritte. That's correct. Here's Selfies. Back to it. Last question in the round. Which Dutch post-impressionist 1889 self-portrait includes the bandage covering the ear he sliced off? Richard. Van Gogh. That's correct. Here's a bonus. In what would become his signature style, which U.S. pop artist's 1966 selfie was a grid of bright, repeated images? Warhol. That's correct for 10. Berlioz, Delacroix, Gironet, famed for his liberty leading the people, Whose work includes an 1837 self-portrait? Delacroix. That's correct. And that's the end of the round. Well played, teams. And now we reach the ultimate challenge, where each team has the opportunity to add significantly to their scores. Alabama State, you'll have first choice. And our ultimate challenge categories include... Historical terms, just thinking of you, note the E-W-E, quelle nation, and state abbreviations. You have the choice. 
Where do we go? We're going with state abbreviations. Good luck. What is the two-letter USPS abbreviation for the state famous for crab cakes and Orioles? MS? No. Of Wheeling and the Greenbrier. Pass. M-O. Next. Yeah. Represented by Marco Rubio. Florida. Yes. Pass. No. Home to Eisenhower's Presidential Library. TX. No. Receiving the least annual rainfall. CA. No. no. Where Colonel Custer made his last stand. Colonel Custer. TN. No. Bordering RI and MA. DE. No. Where the Yazoo River flows. Pass. Next, where Franklin Pierce was born. MA. No. That's nicknamed the NJ. Gar- yes. Famous for crab cakes and Orioles. MA. No. Of Wheeling and the Greenbrier. Pass. No. Represented by Marco Rubio. So? Yes. Mm-hmm. Home dies in Howard. Pass. No. <laughs> Tough category. Tough category. You've added 50 points to your score. MD represents Maryland, famous for crab cakes and Orioles. Of Wheeling and the Greenbrier, that would be in WV, West Virginia. KS, Kansas, home to Eisenhower's Presidential Library. NV receives the least annual rainfall. Where Colonel Custer made his last stand, MT. CT borders RI and MA. The Yazoo River flows in MS, Mississippi. Franklin Pierce was born in NH, New Hampshire. But you added 50 points to your score and played well. Very well done, Tunis. Cheney, there are three categories remaining for your ultimate challenge. Which one will it be? Just thinking of you. Good luck. What word or name spelled with E-W-E is cooked by simmering or slow? Yes, that's correct. Arizona's most recent ex-governor. Pass. No. One who meets a job applicant. Interviewed. Interviewed. No. A company making craft beers. Brewery. Yes. The Haydn Symphony where the music- musicians leave. Pass. Next. Pop Caps tile matching puzzle game. Mm, pass. No. A rolling wind borne plant of the desert. Tumbleweed. Yes. What a shish kebab comes on. Skewer. Skewer. Yes. Underground pipes transporting waste. Sewage. Oh, no. Sewage. How a 160 pound boxer is classed. Featherweight. No. Arizona's most recent ex governor. Pass. Pass. No. One who meets a job. Inter- interviewer. Yes. The Haydn Symphony with the. Sweden? No. Pop Caps tile matching puzzle game. A pass. No. <laughs> oh, clock ran out. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to be mad when I hear that. But the final score, Cheney, 405, Alabama State, 200. Well done, teams. Well done. Let's go back and take a look at those in the category that were a little more challenging. Arizona's most recent ex-governor is Brewer. Points to the audience on that. The Haydn Symphony, where the musicians leave, is the Farewell Symphony. Pop Cap's tile-matching puzzle game is Bejeweled. A sewer is an underground pipe transporting waste. And finally, a 160-pound boxer is classed as a middleweight. Teams, it's been a pleasure. Best of luck, Cheney, and going forward. Thank you both. Alabama State 200, Cheney 405. Congratulations.